My first day at Lion Hall was awesome, and I came home the same day. That's a trip. I made good money too. I made more than I would have made a day in the city. And that's awesome. And I could have made more, obviously, because of the little breaks that we took in between for my trainer, Ryan Baugh. Shout out to you, Fontana. Showing me how the paperwork um, operation gets completed. You know, we get there, we stamp, we put any time that we've been delayed for, you know, we get paid for dropping and hooking. And, um, log in how much time that took maybe how much time that we have to wait for uh, one of our trailers to be ready um, day started obviously in Fontana and we ran a set each we each ran a set uh, to San Diego Miramar location ABF we dropped that set and we picked up or I picked up a pup just one single pup and took that back to Fontana Ryan went back bobtail. There was there was nothing for him, so we dropped those in Fontana, right? Logged our time, drop and hook, and all that stuff, and then we headed to uh, Long Beach, uh, Compton Terminal, Station 158, if I remember right. Uh, 161 is uh, San Diego Miramar. So went on 158 after that, and I took we each took set, right? We dropped our set, and I hooked up to a 53-foot long box. Ryan hooked up to a uh, to a set, and we proceeded to take those back uh, to the Fontana Terminal. So, how much money did I make? And get this, I could have gone to Pico, Station 150, where I just transferred from. Uh, I, I could have had time to run that, obviously, you know, with training, all that in between. Obviously, I didn't have time. So I clocked in at 9.14 a.m. and I clocked out at 10, okay? Now, clocking out in the city in Lion Hall is a completely different thing. We don't clock out the way city does. You know, city will get their badge. You know, they'll hit their badge on a little a little time clock and, you know, punch in, punch out, lunch, all that stuff. Um, we don't do any of that. So we stamp our paperwork, our e-log, and that's it. Right? There's an in and out sheet at every terminal um, indicating where we've come from, where we're going, information like that. We sign it, you know, timestamp it, and that's that. That's the way that works. It's very easy. So after that, I went home. You know, it was, uh, it was a 12-hour day pretty much because, I mean, by the time we even got rolling from 9.14 a.m. when I started, by the time we even got rolling, you know, the the day probably turned out to be like 11 hours, 11 and a half hours, but full, you know, clock, right? 13 hours. So when, when, when I start running right on my own, um, I'll update you with that. So with running the LA basin, there's no matter what you do in line hall, there's, there's, there's money to be made. Again, big shout out Ryan Baugh for showing me the ropes on how all that works. And I want to reiterate to you guys, that no matter who it is that you're voting for in the election, that we continue to stay united. We can't allow, we already have the American government as a freaking example of the division that elections cause, right? And it's so stupid. Like, why are we going to do that here within our local? Why are we going to spread hate because of a different preference and wanting somebody else to uh, take over the reins and leadership, right? Um, America is based on different ideas, right? So no matter what, don't let your personal relationships with one another change because of an electoral preference, decision, vote, opinion. Don't allow that to sway you. We got to stay united, bro. Don't become another United States American government and its people. Uh, we don't need any division. We really don't. We don't need any division, no matter what your opinion, you know. Unless you're a child molester is the only reason for ostracization, right? Difference of opinion, so what, right? It is what it is. We have to stay united and we have to stay strong.
no matter what. Everybody's voice needs to be heard. Everyone needs to have a platform to stand on. And for those of you trucking, other trucking companies that are watching this video right now, I can assure you that Teamsters definitely is still the way to go, especially Local 63, we're very strong. The representation, the job security, the help and welfare benefits, the pension, I'm telling you it's excellent. And in line hall, boy, will you be making some money. Pick up and delivery, you will be home and you will make decent money. There's a life to be had here, definitely. So no matter what your decision is, right? Will you want to leave a non-union for union? You're making a very good decision if that's what you're doing. Uh, if you're non-union, that's your preference. That's your opinion. That's what you want to do. That's where you want to be. That's where you're happy. Do it. Just make sure that you get all the facts before making your final decision and you put in too much time with a company that isn't investing in you, that isn't paying $2,000 a month into your health and welfare, that doesn't come out of your pocket, that's you're accruing five grand just within three months into your pension. Again, not coming out of your check. To me, it's a no brainer. And when you can come and do line haul, how often will you be home? That's a big question. Why don't you just come over and find out? I promise you that you'll be happy. You make that jump. If you're one of those, I'm a driver, I need to drive, ABF, line haul. If you're one that needs to be home, and you're you're pretty much stable and you can survive on a grand to 12 1300 a week you know cities where it's at for you right so with that said rewatch the video as many times you want pass it along to your friends but the point of the matter is that we get the truth out number one all you teams just watching this video we got to stay united we cannot split apart in these times of elections this is not the right time. Don't sacrifice friendships over difference of opinion. It's as simple as that, man. I mean, whatever's going to happen is going to happen. You know, we have no control over that stuff. But we have control over our actions. We have control over our actions, how we act, how we respond. It's what defines us, especially as men. Being in composure, having our uh, emotions in check, right? We can't allow, we can't be bitchy little people and act stupid and sacrifice and end good friendships just because of an election. Like, no, dude, no. It's just no. Right here in the Brotherhood of Teamsters, that shit's got to stop. Because if we let that get out of hand, we'll have no structure, right? Right now, we're going to be okay. Right, and especially Local 63, very strong. Big shout out to all the brothers in Fontana, Pico Rivera. Stay strong. Mr. By the Mile, your home for discussions based on my knowledge and experience in trucking, the red pill and survival. Take care and stay safe. All of you truck drivers out there, new and veteran, see you on the road.